Good morning, everyone. Welcome to June 22nd Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures up 34, S&P futures are up 3, and NASDAQ futures are up 3. Both Asian and European shares were lower overnight. Futures were flat ahead of the bell Thursday as traders continued to assess the Fed's rate decision announcement. The Philadelphia Fed manufacturing report came out much weaker than expected, leading to the beginning of a day-long selling in the market. By the time the market closed, all of the major indexes had fallen sharply. There are no key economic reports due out today. There are no key earnings reports due out today. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day moving average at 1329, the 50-day at 1345, and the 200-day at 1294. The S&P closed at 1325 with support at 1314 and resistance at 1345. The bulls were feeling good after holding the line Wednesday post-Fed announcement. The market was set to move up higher, but the woeful Philadelphia Fed report set the big sell-off in motion. In the process, the bears inflicted technical damage with the S&P closing below both its 20 and 50-day moving averages. The bulls best turned things around quickly here or risk further selling with 1314 acting as the next level of support. June was looking like a solid month for the bulls, but Thursday's wicked sell-off has wiped out most of the hard-earned gains. It just goes to show you that one bad day can offset three weeks of gains, so always be ready to move to the sidelines in a moment's notice. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another Market Minute.